All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Barakatiya Hawa, Barakatiya Hawa Shai, Barakatiya Hawa, Barakatiya Hawa Shai, Barakatiya Hawa, Barakatiya Hawa Shai. Call her law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, Sincer Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few Sincer Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. And with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this lesson. Uh, Lord's willing, it'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into your Rakal Kodash. Um, for the record, today's date is um, April 28th, 2020, the year of prophecy, all right? And uh, I got a little, quick little lesson. Um, the inspiration, obviously, as you can see, is going to come from this uh, video here that I saw on RT. Um, it's entitled, it's from today also, April 28th, 2020, the year of prophe prophecy, all right? It's entitled, Extreme Cens Censorship, Amazon Fires Workers Calling for Better COVID-19 Safety Measures, okay? And I got a couple of scriptures, and um, <clears throat> first things first, uh, let's get a little, a, a, a definition, because um, the, the the first, uh, well, let, let, let's um, let's start with the uh, scripture first, because this is what really this this scripture here was playing in my mind over and over <laughs> as I was um, as I was uh, I was watching that video, okay, so um. I'll get back to it, you know, I'll get back to it, Lord's will, of course, but um, I just wanted to, this is what, that video and the scripture were just playing in my, you know, it was playing in my mind over and over, and I said, Look, I gotta do a little lesson on it, alright, so first things first, uh, Isaiah 14 and 4, um, straight to the point, I'll come back and maybe read the whole thing, um, if the spirit jumps on me, but straight to the point, it says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, okay, and say, how hath the oppressor ceased? Okay, the golden city ceased, which we know is Babylon the Great, America. Okay, you see, and I'll, I'll read a little bit more of it. You know, you should all be familiar with the scripture, but that this this verse was just playing in my mind. That thou shalt take up proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. Okay, and uh, real quick, let's look up the word oppressed off of um, Google, okay, because we know oppress is a derivative of the word oppressor, I mean oppressor is a derivative of the word oppress, you know, so it says oppress, it says to keep someone in subservience, okay, slavery, okay, it says keep someone in subservience and hardship, okay, especially by the unjust ex exercise of authority, okay, and that's what Esau, Edom, the Red Hebrew Edomite, chiefly Am the Amalekites, okay, you know, that's the chief house of Edom, that's what they do, okay, through their beast, beast system, and they're going to really oppress you through the, through the Karagma, the RFID microchip, that's going to be the ultimate oppression, okay, this society, this new world order that we're entering into, so it says, keep someone in subservience and, harsh, and, and hardship, Okay, because, hey, what did it say in, uh, what is that? I think it's Micah. It said, this is not our rest, you know. It shall surely uh, destroy you with a sore destruction. Okay. It says, keep someone in subservience and hardship. That's what this place is, is designed to do. Egypt, bondage. Okay. It said, we were going to go, it said, in, um, we were going to go into Egypt again with ships. Egypt means bondage. Okay. You see? Keep someone in subservience and hardship, especially by the unjust exercise of authority. It says, a system that oppressed working people, okay? It says, cause someone to feel distressed and, it says, anxious or uncomfortable, okay? And that's what Esau Edom does. And that and that's pretty much, um, you know, you get the idea. You 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 know what the word means, but I just wanted to look it up so we can get further edification, you know, on, on, on a, a oppressor. Okay, let's look up. And I thought this was very hilarious. Okay, when I looked up the word oppressor and um that 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 scripture in Isaiah fourteen and four, how has the oppressor? You know how has the how has the oppressors ceased? Right, and the word for that is um H. 
50, 65, and that, that looks like niggas, man. <laughs> Esau Edom, man. He's the true niggas. Let's, let's hear it. I think he said naggers or some shit, but hey, that's, that's hilarious. Strong's H5065. Nagas. 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 Niggas. Nagas. Nagas. Okay. Esau Edom, he's the real na niggas. Nagas. Okay. He's a damn oppressor. Real. He's a nigger. Okay. He's the true niggas. Nagas. Okay. So this is uh the definition. It says, um, oh look at this. It says oppressor, taskmaster, exact, distressed, oppressed driver, slave driver. He's a slave driver. Exactors, taxes. Okay, okay, taxes. He's a damn oppressor. Okay, that's why <clears throat> Jerusalem. If you could receive it, um. The southern kingdom, Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, when when the Romans came in, you know they weren't trying. They, that's what they. That's one of the first things they do. They we had to pay tributary to them. Okay, we had to pay taxes, and and they wasn't. You know, Jake was bucking up against that man. That was unheard of. You know, that was our. You know, that's that was supposed to be our land. You know, given to us by the heavenly Father. How about me? I was shy. You know, but hey, that's part of the curses. You know, but anyway, it says uh to press, drive, oppress. Exact, exert, demand, and pressure. It says um, to press, drive, to exact, drive, taskmaster, ruler. Okay, the rulers of this place, right, have caused them to err. Okay, we know who the rulers are. The, earth, the hands was given into the, uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, <clears throat> we know who that is. Esau Edom, the red Hebrew Edomite. It says driver, taskmaster, ruler, oppressor. Tyrant, yes, Esau Edom is a tyrant, man. He's a damn nagas nigga. <laughs> Lord, okay, exactor of tribute, okay, to be hard pressed, okay. But like I said, I thought that was interesting that it said, uh, niggas, nagas. Strong's H5065. Nagas. Yes, nagas. Esau Edom, he's, a, he's the real nagas, okay. <laughs> Uh, so, um, so lock, let me read it one more again. Uh, let's start up a little bit more. Now that you got, um, actually, no, I'll come back to it. I'll play the video. I'll play the video. It says, um, Isaiah 14 and 4. It says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how have the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. Okay. So without further ado, let's let's get into this, and then we'll jump back into the scriptures. So it says extreme censorship. Amazon fires workers calling for better COVID-19 safety measures. It says hundreds of Amazon workers are staging a mass sick out, refusing to work in protest against the tech giants handling of the coronavirus crisis. Okay, <clears throat> so let's uh. Play some of this. Hundreds of Amazon workers are staging a mass sick out, refusing to work in protest against the tech giant's handling of the coronavirus crisis. It comes after organizers of a planned online event to discuss experiences was canceled when they were abruptly fired. The warehouse workers and the tech workers, there is such a divide. The two uh, groups are completely siloed. And apparently extremely intentionally so and and if i i could speak on this because i i work for amazon so i could tell you that for a fact salaki on, on, on a side note tangent the warehouse they're divided because you have people that actually work for amazon that are actually hourly workers you know that has benefits so on and so forth and they they pit them the actual employees against the contractors the ones that work in the warehouse that are usually moving the boxes loading the trucks doing the actual grunt, the hard labor, getting paid peanuts, okay? They're usually um, contractors, you know? They get no benefits, 1099, you know what I'm talking about, you know? Gig, part of that gig economy, okay? And they pit them against, they pit them against one another, okay? They'll hire a few, um, Amazon will take on a few of those um, uh, contractors to, to give them incentive to keep them slaving, you know? 
the, you know, the, the same thing Esau always does, even in this kingdom, you have a few celebrities, a few millionaires, you know, so that the rest of Jake will keep grinding and keep hoping, thinking they can make it, you know, you know, that, that's what, that's what Esau does. What do they call it? Um, uh, like crabs in a bucket, I guess you can say, you see, and it's intentional. It's intentional. Everything Esau Edom does is by design. Okay, but but how about you now? Shai is coming to throw all that down, man. Okay, that's what it said. How have the oppressors cease? And Lord's willing, by the end of this lesson, you're gonna see how it's how it's gonna cease. Okay, how Babylon the Great is gonna get thrown down. Okay, you see. So Salaka, let me let me play this back from the beginning, and you know, and it's facts. It's facts. But hey, that's all prophecy. Okay, it's it's gonna be civil unrest, man. Sedition amongst men. Class wars, race wars, okay, you know, civil war, civil unrest, man. We in them times. Hundreds of Amazon workers are staging a mass sick out, refusing to work in protest against the tech giant's handling of the coronavirus crisis. It comes after organizers of a planned online event to discuss experiences was canceled and they were abruptly fired. The warehouse workers and the tech workers. There is such a divide. The two uh, groups are completely siloed and apparently extremely intentionally so. And the minute that a member of our group sent out an invitation to that conversation, Emily Cunningham and I were fired just like that. And the invitation, which was out for about two hours on a Friday afternoon, and had already gotten 1,500 accepts, and that meeting was deleted and pulled off of everybody's calendar. So censorship, silencing, and firings. Oppression. Amazon has fired six workers in recent weeks who had called for better safety conditions in the pandemic. A spokesperson for the company said they were fired for repeatedly violating internal policies, but did not specify which ones. We support every employee's right to criticize their employer's working conditions, but that does not come with blanket immunity against any and all internal policies. And it's not the only scandal over Amazon's treatment of workers who are trying to organize. Amazon-owned grocery chain Whole Foods is allegedly tracking employees they suspect are trying to union. Hey, and if I could say real quick, I've already mentioned that all these uh, major corporations, they're all in cahoots. They're all owned by the same families, okay? And they all have an agenda. They're all they're all in cahoots, man. Okay? It's one like the elder apostle Gabar said, it's one big club, one big family, and you're not in it, okay? Amazon, Whole Foods, Walmart, Sam, the Sam's family, all of them they're all they hide they, they hide behind their corporations. They're uh, uh, what do they call it? Conglomeration. What do they call it? Conglomerate or whatever the hell you call them. They build these big uh, corporations, these big uh they hide, man. They change their names, their last names. They're, that's what. That's how the wicked elite operate in secrecy, okay? But at the end of the day, they're all confederate. They're all in cahoots, okay? They all gave consent unto the beast, man, okay? And they're all with this new world order, okay? And these little mom, that's what you see happening. These little mom and pop places, these little grocery stores, they slowly but surely have been phased out, okay? Little mom and pop restaurants, they're gone, man, okay? You're going to have to go to your enemy, which we had to do anyway, but you're, you're truly going to have to do it now. You're going to have to go to him in want of all things, man. Okay? He wants to be like the Most High, man. This man is the devil the Bible speaks of. Okay? Okay, what did the, what did the scripture say? Habakkuk, his desire is his hell. He can never be satisfied, man. He heapeth unto him all people, man, all nations, man. Man is a damn devil. Silencing and firings. Amazon has fired six workers in recent weeks who had called for better safety conditions in the pandemic. A spokesperson for the company said they were fired for repeatedly violating internal policies, but did not specify which ones. We support every employee's right to criticize their employer's working conditions but that does not come with blanket immunity against any and all internal policies. And it's not the only scandal over Amazon's treatment of workers who are trying to organize. 
Amazon-owned grocery chain Whole Foods is allegedly tracking employees they suspect are trying to unionize. The company is believed... See, they're tracking people, okay? They're monitoring everything, okay? Because they're all part of that agenda, man. You know, all these companies are, okay? They're monitoring everything. They're monitoring your damn phones. They're monitoring everything. And you can see what this thing is leading. <clears throat> the only jobs that are going to be, because Amazon, they're, as they're going to go into it, has been deemed uh, essential. They've, they've, they've laid off the not so-called non-essential workers, but, for example, Amazon is, 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 um, uh, is, is deemed um, essential, right? And personally working there, I could tell you that, that which they're going to go into, they, they have very uh, strict, crazy, I mean, hey, they're damn near one step away from the chip, okay? For example, um, at the location that I worked at, they use biometrics to clock in and out, man, okay? Biometrics, man. You got to punch in and punch out with your fingerprint. You, the time clock works with your with your fingerprint, okay? And they're tracking everything. They track every box you move. You got to scan everything. They're tracking every everything down to the minute, okay? And that you can you can see that's what the wicked elite want. They want to be able to track and monitor everything. Oh, then ultimately, what's going to be able to to them to do that? Allow them to do that? That chip, that karagma, okay? You know, go watch that movie in time or out of time or whatever with Justin Timberlake, okay? That's how they want everything to be, man. You're just going to be a slave. Go watch Black Mirror, okay? They want slaves, man, okay? The perfect slaves. You're just going to go to work, come home, and go to sleep. They're going to allot everything for you, okay? They got these apps that track how much calories you should be eating, you know? You know, how much rest you should have, Okay? That's how Esau, he wants to be the most high, man. That That's his end goal, man. Okay, the perfect slaves. Okay, no partying, no bullshitting. Go to work and come home. That's it. Okay, you see? And you can clearly see that the, 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 uh, that's what, that's the wave of the future. Everything is going digital. Everything is being tracked and monitored. Your production, you know, everything is about tracking productivity. Okay. You know, the most efficient workers, they try to, more and more, they're using AI, so-called AI, artificial intelligence to, to, to get things more, um, you know, um, pr productive, you know, trying to speed things up, so-called, okay? You see, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We can clearly see where everything is headed, okay? They said they were fired for repeatedly violating internal policies, but did not specify which ones. We support every employee's right to criticize their employer's working conditions, but that does not come with blanket immunity against any and all internal policies. <clears throat> and it's not the only scandal over Amazon's treatment of workers who are trying to organize. Amazon-owned grocery chain Whole Foods is allegedly tracking employees they suspect are trying to unionize. The company is believed to be using heat mapping to track their efforts. Human and labor rights lawyer Dan Koblick told us it's not surprising if the workers are trying to improve their conditions. For these workers that are still at their jobs during a nationwide lockout, they're literally taking their lives into their own hands to do these jobs. They're even being called essential workers. And yet they're not being paid as if they were essential. What this pandemic is showing are the incredible inequities. You see that? We had to scan everything. We had to scan every package, track everything, every movement that was tracking. And if you didn't keep up with your, uh, you know, they were tracking, you'd get in trouble, man. You had a certain amount of packages that you had to scan and you had to scan the package and the location. Okay. You know, everything was being tracked and monitored, man. Okay. And that's how they're going to have it. Everything is going to be tracked, man. And you especially. Okay. Being paid as if they were essential. What this pandemic is showing are the incredible inequities in U.S. society, the incredible injustices, and people are reacting to that in ways that are pretty spontaneous because they literally see the lives of themselves and their families at stake. We live in a very uh, unfettered capitalist society where that type of conduct is not only common, but, you know, it tends to be even approved of in the press and by uh, political leaders, even though it's illegal. There you go. I wanted to show, I'm, I'm going to get it back into the scriptures. 
but I wanted to hit the comment board a little bit, read a little bit of these comments. I thought it was interesting. Um, let's see. It says, uh, one hour ago, uh, da, 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 da. it says, yes, you wouldn't want to spend a few extra bucks, uh, Bezos, what? Yes, you wouldn't want to spend a few extra bucks, Bezos of your trillion dollar fortune to protect your work. Uh, that's not a good one. Let me see. Um, there was one that I saw. See. Okay, here it is. Uh, where was it? Well, Philadelphia. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, this is the one that I wanted. Okay, Con. I was gonna say this was from uh, Triano Tre 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 How would he say that? How would the hell you say that? Triano Triano. Welcome. One hour ago, it says doesn't surprise me. During my time working at that organization, it struck me as an exceptionally dehumanized environment. Like I said, everything, it, it, it's crazy, man. They tracking everything by the, they just, you like a, that's a damn slave job, man. That is a slave gig, pretty, pretty, <laughs> to sum it up, okay? That, if anybody has ever worked, you're a damn slave, man. Especially if you're not um, an actual Amazon employee, if you're a contractor. Man, that that's a slave gig, man, okay? Anyway, with that being, let me get let me jump into some um, scriptures and we close it out. All right, um, you get the idea. You get the idea. So back, matter of fact, let me start with Micah, okay? Because that's that's these wicked elites, man. That's these wicked elites, okay? Micah two and one. It says, "Woe to them that devise iniquity, and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it." Because it is in their power of their hands. Why? Because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. Okay? Esau eat them. Okay? It says, and they covet fields and take them by vi and take them by violence. Okay? And houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And ultimately, who do they oppress? Yasharala, man. They took our heritage away. Okay? That, that's the end goal, man. Okay? You see? Um, so that's pretty much a straight to the point. I don't want to make this video too long. All right. Um, so let's jump back over into, um, uh, Isaiah. Like I said, the main point is in, uh, four, 14 and four, but I'm going to start at the top. Okay. Cause remember Micah said, woe to them. Okay. It says Isaiah 14 and one. It says for the Lord, Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel being a Northern and Southern kingdom. Okay. It says, and set them in their own land. It's a future prophecy. This hasn't happened yet. Okay. And it says, For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Okay. It says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house, it says, And the house of Israel shall possess them. So like, let me let me I, I, let me break this down for you, for the ones that don't know. The strangers in this, in this verse is talking about the Israelite foreigners, okay? The one the, the actual Israelites that that discontinued from their heritage, like most of us were. We didn't know we were Israelites, okay? But now we have come back to to the understanding, okay? So that's the strangers, okay? Israelite foreigners, the ones that fell away. It says, "For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel." And, and remember, we're scattered amongst the heathen, okay? It says, for the Lord, will, Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and yet will yet choose Israel and will set them and, and set them in their own land and, and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Okay. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. This is talking about the, the, the other, the other, uh, the, the other nations now. This is talking about uh, Esau, Edom and on down. Okay. All right. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh for servants and handmaids. Talking about the other nations, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Okay, so this is twofold. This is talking about the redemption. Okay, the mercy of us. The, that the redemption, the buying back. Okay, that's what you see happening. Okay, 
Yahabashim Yahushai is restoring the tabernacle of David as of old, okay? And then after that happens, what's going to happen? Yahabashim Yahushai is going to deliver us, okay? It says, and the people shall, and what, what come? Because what? Yahabashai is king of kings, lord of lords, right? He said, every every knee and every tongue shall bow, right? And by default, we're joint ears with Yahabashai, okay? So we're going to get all the people that ruled over us, okay? Starting with chiefly Esau, Edom, we're going to get them. Because it said what in Revelations, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, you know. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's what we're waiting on, okay. That's the mercy. That's Yahabashim Yahushai's mercy, okay. It says, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Yahweh shall give thee rest. And that hasn't happened yet, okay. We're, it's, we're not, we're supposed to give diligence to call our give diligence to make our calling and election sure okay now is the time to labor to push okay this is not the time to be just chilling out okay now is the time to work do the work while you can okay it says hey because what it said the night come when no man can work right so now is the time to push feed the sheep warn the people warn 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 uh yahabash mihawashai's people okay to repent okay it says and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, right, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, which is where in Babylon the Great, okay, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, okay, which is here in America, okay, and wherever we were scattered, okay, but chiefly here in America, Babylon the Great, okay. It says, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou hast thou was made to serve thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of babylon and say how hath the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased because what it said babylon have been a golden cup in the lord's hand right it made all the nations drunk right it says the lord yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked esau edom and the scepter of the rulers he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke Okay, that's what he said. Woe to them, man. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Okay, that's what they do. Do you see? And the ultimate iniquity that they're devising, their enterprise, this chip, this new world order. Okay, they want to be like the Most High. You see? You see? Philakia. So it says, uh, the Lord Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Okay, it says, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. Okay, he had no mercy. That's why the Lord, Yahweh Shai said, he's going to show that the same one that showed judgment without mercy, he's going to get judged without mercy. Okay, the same way he was wicked, hey, double. Yahweh Shai said, double unto them, man. Okay, they're going to drink the dregs of the cup. Okay, it says, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger. Is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Okay, and that hasn't happened yet. This is a future prophecy. Okay, so um, one more scripture and I'm out of here. I, I wanted to close out with this one here. Okay, I wanted to close out with this. Let me see. It's a lot of ones. Uh, I'll start at the top. Main point is in verse five. Verse 5, okay. This is Malachi 3 and 1. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. Okay. And who is that talking about? That's really talking about Abba Bivens, man, Elijah. Okay. You know, that's the doubt. You know, he turned us back to the fathers. Okay. Abba Bivens. Okay. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And we're, oh, we all are in his steed, man. Starting with the head apostle, Ellen Tahar on down. We follow, we picked up that mantle. Okay. You know, so it says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord Jehovahshai, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. It says, Behold, he shall come. It says, Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts, Yahabashim Yahweh But who may abide the day of his coming? Okay, and who shall stand when he appeareth? Talking about Yahabashai, okay. It says, "Who who may it says, but who may abide the day of his coming?" And that's what we're telling you. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Repent. Yahweh is on his way. Okay. 
It says, but, but who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. Okay. Oh, and uh, that's, um, hey, that's beautiful because that's what he's doing. He's he, hey, it's going to get into it. He's refining us. He's purifying us. Okay. With the chastisement, man. Okay. That's why I said despise not the chastisement of the Lord. We're getting chastised now so that we'll be able to stand. Okay. We'll be able to abide the day of his coming. Okay. You see, we're going to be found worthy, Lord, as well, and we keep enduring. Okay. It's yet, it's but a light affliction, man. We're close. We're almost out of here. It says, but who may abide? Because, hey, that's what it said. Uh, Woe to you that uh, desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it to you? Okay. It is darkness, not light. Because how about you, how shy is coming back to judge? Okay. You're going to have to answer for all the things done in your body, man. You're going to have to give account, man. Okay. It, whatever you sow, you're going to reap. Okay. So we want to sow good fruit, good, good works, man. Okay. That we be, we, uh, we be found worthy, man. Okay. That's why we do these videos, why we go out on the highways and the byways, okay? You know? So it says, but who may, so that we can we can stand, okay, in this day. It says, but who may abide the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, hot, you know? You think about a refinery, that, 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 you know, you be seeing that, 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 that the damn liquid fire, man, you know? It says, and like fuller soap, Okay? And that's, uh, that, that, if I looked that up, I looked that up a while ago. I believe that's um, like somebody that washes clothes like wool, you know, in the old days, you know, they don't do it anymore. But anyway, it says, and he shall sit, and like that makes me think of the hyssop, purge me with the hyssop. It says, anyway, verse three, and he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may be that they may offer unto the Lord Yahweh an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord Yahweh, as in the days of old, and and as in the former years. And like I said, that's what he's doing. He's building he's building the tabernacle of David as of old. Okay? Okay? It says this is the main point that I wanted, and I'll close it out here. It says, And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a it's like, and I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers. Okay, the Chaldeans, man, Esau, Edom, <laughs> the Babylonians, man, with all their witchcraft and their deceit, their lies, their skullduggery. Okay, you see, all this is going to come to naught, man. Okay, his turning of things upside down. Okay, his steam that the potter's clay, man. Okay, you see, but Yahabashim Yahushai is coming to turn everything right side up, man. Righteousness on earth, man. Okay, it says, and I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against the false swearers and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages. Esau Edom, man, how has the oppressor cease? That golden city, Babylon the Great. You see? Okay. You see, he divide, that did all this bullshit, you know, coveted fields, took them away by violence. Oppressed the man in his heritage. You see? You see? Now it's coming together. You see? How has the golden city ceased, man? This is how. Through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And his men. Okay? You see? Doing the work, man. You see? What? Hey, it said, that, it said um, that the angels were holding, the four angels were holding back the winds, the destruction. Okay, until the, the the names of the heavenly Father was sealed in the in the heads of the uh, the and I'm um, paraphrasing, but in the foreheads of the elect, the hundred and forty four thousand. Okay, then the end is gonna come. We're close. The elect gotta be almost sealed. Okay, we can we can clearly see it, man. Okay, this word has gone out. There's no more cloak for your sins, man. Okay. It says, and I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers. And what did he say? Behold, I come quickly. Okay? He's going to be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against the false swearers and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages. Esau Edom. Okay? And Amazon and, and Whole Foods and so on and so forth is a prime example of that, as the video showed you. Okay? It says, it says and against the adulterers and against the false swearers 
and against the oppressors, and, sorry, and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and those and and, sorry, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts, Yahabashim Hawashai. Okay? For I am the Lord Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. Okay? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, all we got to do is hold on, man. We're close. We're close. Okay? Pray fast. Repent. Seek the Lord while he may be found, man. Okay? Anyway, like I always say, hey, we're almost out of here, man. We are, we're almost out of here. Keep pushing. Shalom. Lord's willingness, our video was edifying. All right? And wa babad babal.